Good morning, welcome to this week's video. So the question is, what do you do when it's zero degrees outside, you're in the Scottish Highlands, and you're looking for something to photograph? Well, the answer is, obviously, you go to a beach. So we're off to Arisake, which has some glorious white sandy beaches, apparently, and all of that coast along there. So we're going to explore that today, and uh, looking forward to taking you with us. So the next time you see me, we'll be on the beach. Enjoy the episode. So welcome to Arasaig. I think that's how you say it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is one of the coastal towns or little seaports um, on the North, Hi North Highlands, on the west coast of Scotland. Uh, I was expecting white sands here actually, but um, a bit like the Isle of Harris, but we've got uh, rocks and seaweed and it's like an old fishing port. I think they catch lots of prawns around here. In the distance, oh, you can see that little knobbly bit there. That's the island of Egg, which is one of the islands in the Inner Hebrides. Just off the off the coast, you can get a, a boat out or a ferry out, um, probably in the summer. I don't think they run at the moment. Um, and then to that side is the Isle of Rum, which is the biggest of the in the Hebrides Islands. Um, every time I shoot this, okay, every time I do this, a car comes past. I'm in the most remote place in the world. Okay, the car's gone. So we're not going to shoot here. I'm just really sussing this out. The light at the moment is okay in the, in the highlands in, in winter. And the sun doesn't go very high in the sky because we're right towards the, the top of the earth. Um, so it's one of those, almost in Iceland, you get like six months of sunshine and six months of darkness. It's quite a nice time of year though, because the sun never is never harsh. It's just not great at the moment because so, this is kind of midday. So what we're going to do is drive up the coast. There's another couple of places to have a look at. There's Malague up here, I think, Moray. Um, my wife tells me she's in charge of map reading. Um, so we're going to go and suss those out. I mean, there is a shot here. I could shoot... Um, the Isle of Egg and these rocks and it would be quite nice if the light was nicer but I don't think the light's really worth worth shooting at the moment so we're going to carry on see what else we can find and this is going to turn into kind of sort of a late afternoon sunset kind of shot sunset is about four o'clock five past four which is ridiculously early but brilliant for me because we can shoot it and then we can go and have something to eat so not too bad it's uh, cold it's about four degrees now so a bit of winter So I've found a lovely white beach to photograph. This one needs a bit of a walk as you've seen. But we've got some white sands behind you actually. And a, you may just be able to see it in the distance here. Isle of Eag on the horizon there. And that's the Isle of Rum. And then this way, the Isle of Skye. It's one of my favorite places. Not gonna have time to get to that this time, this trip, but I'm definitely going to go back. So we're going to try and do semi-sunset. It's not quite going to be sunset, because there's another location I've spotted 
further on down the coast road where I want to get to for sunset that looks really promising but I'm going to shoot some pictures here because the light being so low in the sky still looks okay it's just trying to pick out if I don't fall. It's just trying to pick out somewhere to photograph from. I don't know whether you can see, but I've got Albert set up down there because this bit, let's just crawl down here. Where am I? Here I am. So this bit here is quite nice. There's some heather on there, but the trouble with the heather's obviously gone off. Be nice in the summer. There's some gorse, which is extremely prickly because I've just put my leg in some and it really hurts. But the problem with this is that the rocks are facing that way, which is completely out of the shot. I want something that's going to face that way towards egg, egg, egg. Uh, and down there where Albert is, there are some rocks that, ball masons that go that way. So what I'll do is try and, I've got the tripod up high, but I'm going to put the tripod down low because if I have it up too high, again, we're going to get all this water in, which I don't necessarily want. I'm going to blur it anyway. But I want to get it lower. I'm going to have some rocks in the foreground leading off into this little bit of headland, then that bit, and then the, the two islands in the background. And if we get some nice light, some clouds, and there is some cloud forming, we might get a half decent picture. Probably going to be portrait. Not sure yet. We'll have a little look. Certainly haven't found a, haven't found a really good picture yet, but I'm confident that something will happen because it's got all the ingredients that we need really a lovely background interesting mid-ground and a good foreground he's just finding three things that put that right so i'll go and shoot i'm gonna go and see what i can find Composition doesn't look too bad. It's um, difficult to really tell because I've got lots of flashing highlights going. But actually, this big lump of rock here looks okay. Um, I've definitely got egg in the background. I've definitely got less water than I wanted. The only type of thing I haven't got is anything decent in the sky. But definitely, definitely going to need a grad because the whole sky is lit up on here. So we'll put a grad on. Maybe we need two for this. And then I just need to wait for the clouds to just move over, which is going to take about 20 minutes. So then the problem is going to be, do I abandon this and go for the other composition that I found? Well, it's not an exact composition, but it looks a promising beach. Or do I shoot this? And actually, I don't mind this too much. I think this is probably going to be worth hanging on for. Um, this rock looks really nice. Just could do with getting down another couple of inches so what I think I might do is just open the tripod legs up a little bit get a little bit lower and then the gap between the first bit of water and the second bit of water hopefully even itself out it's never going to be exact because of that rock the lower I get the less the bit of the water in the background the more that's going to compress so this might have to be the shot actually right so let's put this is a 0.9 Lee soft grad which is three stops. I'm just going to roll that over the sky. Mm. It's taking a little bit of the exposure down. Still nothing in the sky so I don't know where to leave that. I think what I'm going to do in here somewhere this is a 0.6 hard grad. I haven't got another 0.6 soft which I'd kind of like. Um, let's see if that helps out at all. Yes. So when I slide that in, the sky is now exposed properly. Now, i just got to lift up the... There we go. Now I can see this affecting the rocks. I've got a little bit of overexposure, but not much. Again, the raw file, so it should be fine. I think I've got rum on the right and I've got egg in the foreground let's just 
tweak the composition a fraction and actually that looks all right it's been tough today I've really been really difficult and I don't know what that is whether it's I'm tired whether I'm looking for woodland colour and there's not any here because we haven't got any whether it's just not particularly photogenic don't know but I think finally I've come up with an exposure I do need if you wouldn't mind cloud gods some clouds coming into the sky and I can I can see some wispy clouds the sun's still high so we've still got a little bit of time so I think what I'm going to do now is just leave this set up um, enjoy the scenery and then I'll come back to you when I've got some decent clouds definitely a two out day so times like this you could really do with a coffee but hey ho we'll carry on waiting right so at last we have some clouds across I've got some light on this rock in front of me which is the main subject actually and that looks lovely in another five minutes the sun is going to go down too low it's going to be behind the headland and that's going to all go so I want to shoot this now um, I've got a little bit of flare I think off the, where the sun is so I'm just going to put my hand over the sun and then if I need to I can blend the two exposures that I've just shot together but actually that looks all right I've got some um, and the composition goes from the right in out to the rocks here across zigzag and then we've got egg right at the back and just a hint of the Isle of Rum out there. What a beautiful place. And there is some colour in the sky now. I have needed both of those grads. Let's just shoot one more. F22, 2.5 fifth of a second. So half a second pretty much. Good, done. Right, so we're gonna move on now. I'm gonna go further down this way. See if I can grab one more before sunset. So I what I think is my last location for the evening. Sun's got another hour to go before sunset and uh, just trying to suss out a, a composition. Again, we've got rum and egg as our background. Some more of the inner Hebrides out there actually. This is really lovely. Sky is over there to my right. What's attracted me to this composition is I've always loved these marron grasses. The way they blow is really nice. It really punches up that kind of windy feel that we've got tonight. And the other thing I was looking at, look at that sand blowing. Wow. The other thing we've got is this lovely curve on this bit of shoreline, which acts as pointing to the middle of egg. The problem with it is that the sun's further to the left and there are absolutely zero clouds above it. So the action's gonna be over that way. I'm not sure this is gonna work. I mean, I could come over here a little bit further to try and get that end of the curve in, but there's also some really lovely rocks to, the, to my left, and there's a lovely cottage in the distance, which looks great as well. So, in fact, the light of that cottage looks really nice now. So I think I'm gonna shoot that first, and then I'm probably gonna end up with the rocks over here. Right, let's get to work. Okay, doesn't that look beautiful? That white cottage there, if I can just get a bit of sun on it, that's gonna be a nice composition. What I've gotta be careful of though is I don't stand on the sand because that will obviously leave footprints, um, which has been done before. And you go, oh, I wish I hadn't stood there. But let's sort the camera out have a little look through the viewfinder but I'm quite hopeful that is going to look lovely it's going to be a portrait again so let's get the camera attached do it up right let's shoot this Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, so two second exposure. I'm holding on to Albert because it's really blowy. Just lost the vlogging camera over twice. Broken the transmitter, what a day. Not feeling the love still, but that's actually it's a nice composition. I've gone a little bit wider than, actually I'm gonna shoot another one even wider than that. Just so I can get these rocks in. I can play about with the composition a little bit and post it. Um, I wanna get the house quite prominent. Wow, hold on tight. It's not too bad, I mean it's, it is blowing a little bit of a gale. Um, so I think I might just go a little bit closer because I've got lots of space, dead space underneath here. So I don't need, oh, so let's go closer here. Tilt the camera down. Again, the sky is not particularly interesting. So what is interesting is the rocks or are the rocks, the little house. So I've got three stock grad on the top, just holding off what there is of the sky. That's just, that's better. So that's balanced the exposure nicely. So I'm gonna focus three quarters of the way along. Manual focusing. That is sharp there. F20, one half of a second. Right, so I've just moved along the beach a little bit. Now I'm pointing towards sunset. So I've got composition here, as you can see with this bit of grass. I think it's, I think it's marrow grass. And then the rocks, and then another rock to the left take me into this group of rocks that goes into the sea. And then egg, the promontory of egg sitting right there. Sunset starts to the left. So I'm getting some nice color in the sky to the left. I just want, to balance this exposure or this composition, I just want those clouds there to move over to the right. Now, I don't know whether they will. I'm not sure which way they're blowing. They're going very slowly. There is one over there, which may come down a bit. I don't know. So I'm going to hang on here. We've got sunset in about another, what's the time? Uh, half an hour. So actually, it's probably going to be worth hanging about because it looks quite nice. I've got four stops of grad on now, so I've got a three stop and a one stop soft. Um, and that's just about holding in those highlights. I could just come back a little bit just to make sure I've definitely got everything in. Yeah, there we go. So that is um, 1.6 of a second, that F22. Um, I've just got to make sure I don't leave the grads too low because they will then burn onto that rock which will make it really dark which I can adjust in post to be fair but I'd rather, I've always been the kind of photographer who would rather get it right in the camera because that's the craft. So we're level, I mean it is blowing, got some of this lovely seaweed here and a footprint from a dog <laughs> that walked into the shot a minute ago which I might have to clone out. Um, but it's looking good. In fact, those clouds look like they are gonna do the right thing at the moment. So let's just shoot one while I've got it. And then I'm gonna wait it out. Great stuff. I think today may have been worth it in the end. Who knows? We'll have to wait until we get back into Lightroom with these. It's one of those shoots that you think you got it, but because it's so blowy and you're moving about so much, and you're trying to think about all the things that you need to do that often it's just a case of when you're sitting at your desk you go actually that didn't work but I think looking at the back of the camera it kind of looks all right got a little bit of time to think if I had a better a better sky I would actually crop out a little bit more off this bottom and have the bottom of the grass as the bottom of the composition but because the sky is not great I'm a bit loath to include it so egg is really about i don't know almost like an eighth of the way along the frame um, which normally it would be a third so we'll see what happens there's definitely things forming up in the sky um, and if we're lucky and the sun goes down we, we're going to get some good color i think so let's wait i wait it out So 
So, I've just moved a little bit. I'm not, just in case I don't like the picture with the grass is on. Um, the battery's on red. <laughs> We're nearly run out of the day. I've had, an, I've had what I feel is a bit of a mare and I don't know why. Can't really explain it. As I predicted, the sun's gone behind that big bank of cloud. There is a little bit of colour here, but the sky is not the best. But that's not too bad. I've actually just slipped while you were, while we were just moving cameras. I've just slipped on a 0.6 hard, and I've now got a 0.3 soft as well, just to, just to sort the sky out. But with a GFX, it's going to be a lot better than it would be with an XT4. I think. I think we've got a little bit more dynamic range. And I don't think that's going to be too bad, you know. So there we go. I'm going to wrap it up there because I really, really am exhausted. I've had it. I can't see properly. The photographs have been okay. Uh, but there we go. Thanks anyway for tuning in. Your support's greatly appreciated. Tell your friends. And I'll put the pictures on now from the day. Tell me what you think. I think next week, hopefully I'm going to be in some Scottish woodland because I've definitely got to do that before we return home. So, um, from a very cold beach by the Western Isles. <laughs> See you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>